Hey guys, Out of Work Bum here. And I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I have a serious case of spring fever. Um, another 25 degree day here. And it's killing me. I just I can't wait to get outside. But in the meantime, I do, uh, my, my quail have finally started laying consistently. I'm getting three or four quail eggs a day out of the five hens I have. Uh, and I have the one male in there with them. So I decided I'm going to start incubating these guys and make a nice little flock for myself. So what I did was I just put a little little cardboard spacer here so that I can keep them separated by by the batches and uh, it takes 16 to 17 days for these guys to hatch. Uh, you want to keep this incubator around 100 degrees, right around 100, between 99.5 and 102. So as long as you're fluctuating in between there for the first, um, I think the first 15 days. Uh, you're also going to want to turn these eggs at least four times a day they say every four hours but uh, I think a uh, minimum four times a day um, what I did was uh, add this computer fan this old computer fan from an old PC to my incubator uh, it was pretty simple I I heard that you're gonna get better um, a better hatch ratio if instead of using the still air if you, if you use a, an air circulator um, so what I did was I took this off an old computer and each of these screws I just made a mark with a toothpick on on the uh, styrofoam where I wanted them and uh, poked them through and as, uh, as you can see I put a little uh, spacer right there to keep it up off of the off of the, um, the styrofoam so you have some clearance uh, when you do this you want to make sure the air is blowing down you don't want to have it sucking up uh, from what I see um, and uh, everything, everything other than that was pretty simple. Um, for the screws, what I did was I used these wall anchors. They were perfect. All I had to do was uh, just uh, hand tighten them up, and they were good to go. I took this, um, th this, um, what do you call it? It's a universal power adapter that I use for the uh, for the power cable on this. This is a 12 volt fan. So um, what I did was. Let's see right here. There you go, focusing in. So this uh, this will control my fan. 3.3 uh, volts is not enough to get it to turn. So as I switch it down, there you go. That's five volts. Six point five, eight point four and 9.5 so it's just enough to stir the air around you don't really want it blowing on it um, so I'm gonna uh, I'll play with the different settings on it and see which one works best but I'll, I'll probably start it more towards the lower side maybe the, the 5.0 or the 6.5 um, but it was a very very simple adjustment and uh, it's low voltage so it's pretty safe I, I'm not really worried about I'm not really worried about zapping myself or, or anything on it. <laughs> so this was just the uh, the junction. Just make sure that the wires are separate when you tape them, and good to go. So that's that, and hopefully I get myself a nice little flock of, of uh, quail going. I'll try not to bounce them around too much. So, uh, so that's it, and uh, wish me luck, and hopefully I get this going well, and uh, within uh, six weeks or so, the, this this batch should be uh, should be ready to lay after they hatch. I mean, um, so these guys will these guys. I guess they mature in five, uh, six to eight weeks. They'll start laying eggs once they hatch. They'll hatch again in 16 to 17 days. And um, the important things are the humidity, which I think I got wrong last time, which this hopefully this fan will help me with, and the temperature, which uh, should be uh, somewhere right around 100 degrees. And other than that, everything should be good. So thanks for watching. Wish me luck. And if you guys have any questions or comments or uh, suggestions for me, especially suggestions since I'm new to this, uh, let me know. Thanks again. Bye-bye.